Hi, I'm Lisa Norris, Library Media Specialist at Great Seneca Creek Elementary School, and this is... Suzanne Klein, and I'm a first grade teacher. Well, in the years past, the weather ebook project that you worked on with my students using AGUP gave me the idea to do an ebook, and in planning for writing to inform and reading informational text, I saw the animal research project in the curriculum guide and thought of doing the ebook. Well, after I decided to do the animal research, I came to you to ask what uh, resources we had online and um, with animals, and you told me about the new subscription to Pebble Go. I, I also found the planning sheets that gave me the idea to do a template on Pixie for them to create an ebook. And um, the planning paper is really great because it has listed exactly each heading of the different chapters of the informational text that's being read to the students. Um, well, the planning sheet really made the project open-ended for each student. You really helped with uh, helping me plan the most efficient way to manage all the technology and using so many different laptops with such young students. Um, it was also really, really helpful to have you to help co-teach with and help all the students edit all their work and have a chance to record their voice. Mm -hmm. um, and I think one of the most helpful ways was just having someone to go to with questions or ideas that I had to tell me if, you know, what would work, what wouldn't. Right. So, well, I think Pebble Go does a really good job um, with differentiating for all the students and allowing for different learning styles and for different academic levels. Um, the audio option really allows for students who are non-fluent readers to follow along the text as it highlights each word. And fluent readers have the option of just reading the text online and if they get stuck on a word or don't understand something they're reading they can click on the audio option and listen to it to make sure they understand. And another great part of the writing using technology and these two different programs in the writing process was the instant editing. Um, going through and reading through each page with the students standing right there and helping them edit their words and their spelling and having it be able to be fixed just like that. And then, they did. and then after they did their pixie writing, then you added another component to that because the students were able to record their voice so they could hear themselves reading what they had written. Mm -hmm. So again, you're reinforcing those reading and writing and listening skills all at the same time in a motivating and engaging way. All about tiger sharks. On Peppa Go, um, did you know that um, you can like learn lots of information and you could do an animal um, that you had enough research on and then you could make a little ebook about them and that kind of stuff and it's really fun yeah. instead of just making a book with paper. You can also put it on Pixie, and sometimes you can mail it, too. It's always nice as a teacher to have someone who you can bounce those ideas off of. So just as much as you think you're learning from me, I learn from you and the other teachers when I talk to you about other things that I can implement into my program.